Hey guys, Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. We're here at the Sony Ericsson booth at GDC 2011. Uh, getting ready to play with the Xperia Play. Uh, look, it looks kind of like a PSP Go with physical buttons. Uh, is that actually branded PlayStation? What this is, it's the first uh, first Android phone that uh, fits the PlayStation certification. Um, so you can okay. play PlayStation Suite games. Okay, so that means it has the right controls, the two analog yeah, controllers. Yeah, actually, they haven't like actually, Sony hasn't released what the requirements are for the PlayStation certification, um, but we figure uh, it's not going to be too discriminatory for the internal hardware because this like, runs a Snapdragon CPU, it's 1 gigahertz, single core, uh, 512 megabytes of RAM. Um, and you know, pretty standard but, five megapixel camera. But the physical controls, but are the big it's thing. really the physical controls. So um, this let's is see some games. Uh, let's try this one. This is Asphalt, the game loft. Uh, it's a racing game, basically. It's, it's your Asphalt. Uh, the buttons here, like I have reasonable size hands, and I already feel like gripping on the side. Uh, my thumbs are a little, a little. Uh, I feel like it's like, a little too close. A little too close. A little squished. Uh, I'm sure someone with bigger hands. Like there's no good way to to grip it. Oh, I guess. This is okay, I'm going the wrong way. So Will's holding the Xperia Play right now, and how does it feel, Will? Uh, it, it, it feels like a PSP Go, actually. Uh, yeah, so, and, and look, you can actually use a touch, uh, little the touch sensors in the middle. Um, and what's neat about the touch sensors is that there's a little divot in the center, so even without looking at your fingers, you know where the center is going to be. And he's navigating pretty well. The game graphics, I mean, it looks like exactly what you'd see on a racing game on Android right now. Um, and there are actually physical buttons, LR buttons on top. I think that's for boost in this specific game. Um, yep, there goes the volume in the center. Uh, but with the D-pad and the uh, the four buttons on the right, um, it you could play like as if it was a PSP. Um, the game's included, so there's this game. Actually, if you hit the home button, so it's, it's actually just an Android phone. So hit, go to desktop, and if you relaunch the game, it'll save the state. Um, I, I think on another phone here, I launched like, three games at once, and it jumped back and forth, no problem. There was that UI where if you open up the slider, you get, you get the... Uh, it's like a launching yeah, window or something like that. Yeah, it's a launcher for, for the games, and also sends you to the store. This actually isn't saving state, it looks like. Well, no, this wasn't the game before. Oh. This is your, oh, no, I guess yeah, not, not here, huh. Well, that sucks. Another game. There are other games that did do save state. Sh jump into another game. Play Bruce Lee. So Will now has launched Bruce Lee Dragon Warrior. Um, I'm not sure if this is uh, a game that's already out on on the Android Marketplace. I haven't seen um, it before. Yeah, I, I want to say that the games, uh, th there are no certifications for the actual games. Developers will just uh, include the controls. Um, but the certification is for the hardware. So on the PlayStation Store, you'll, you'll see like the Xperia Play from Ericsson and possibly other phones. Uh, you'll be able to buy those phones from the PlayStation Store, and once it's certified, from here you can access the PlayStation Suite and get, you know, in the future, PS1 uh, ports over to your Android phone. Play, play the game. Touch the screen. There you go. I pressed X. I didn't touch the screen. That, that looks like Bruce Lee. It is a, indeed a fighting game. Throw a fireball. Do a bicycle kick. How responsive are the buttons? Uh, the buttons feel pretty good. The throw is definitely not as as uh, as high as it is on like a traditional PSP or DS or something else portable, but it's better than a touchscreen interface for this type of thing. What happens if you touch the screen? Can you also play that way? Uh, no, it seems like no. Uh, one of the things that they were saying earlier is that, you lose. Is that there's actually uh, the developer chooses which input methods you want. So you can use the analog sticks, you can use the D-pad, you can use the touchscreen, you can use the gyroscope, the accelerometers, any of the motion sensors. Uh, it's up to the developer to choose the, which, which sensors you use for which games. All right, since you're not very good at this game, hit the home button and launch another game. One thing that's interesting here is the physical home buttons. So the bottom buttons, instead of being the touch-sensitive capacitor buttons that they are on most Android phones, are actually physical buttons, so it's, it's harder to accidentally press them, and you can feel them before you accidentally press them, which is good. Well, this is interesting. Tetris is normally a game you play in the, yeah, in the, the portrait position. Play Magic. So I wonder how the control is going to work here. <laughs> Looks like this is a touch-only game? Huh. Interesting that they would include a touch-only game on this Xperia Play. All right, get out of this. This is boring. So like I said earlier, the games here uh, don't look all that much better than what you get on the Android market right now. I mean, this is just running the Qualcomm CPU with Qualcomm GPU. Um, but having the physical buttons uh, does make like, adventure games like this um, a little more fun. If, if you were doing better. I keep dying, Norm. 
Watch well play for just a little bit more. I kicked that skunk's ass. So uh, one of the things that uh, Sony's doing with this, it's a gingerbread phone. It's one of the first gingerbread phones that's out that will be out. Uh, and and in, so that they can, one of the things they mentioned earlier today is that they've kind of learned their lesson with the 2010 phones, uh, which were never really updated from the earlier versions of Android. Uh, they, they don't have any kind of commitments to you know, how that long they're going to support this phone with new releases, uh, but they're using more of a core UI and are just changing uh, the actual widgets. So rather than having to redevelop uh, launcher and stuff like that, you know, this is more or less a stock looking AGW or Launcher Pro or just the launcher that Google ships with Android. Yeah, there are a few accents. I think they have a few proprietary apps, like their camera apps, a little different. But it's mostly just Android 2.3 that you see. Let's actually take a look at the phone itself. One thing I wanted to point out is when the phone is in this open position, it actually feels really thin. And like the top part is very thin. But once it's closed, you realize it actually is it's, it's a pretty relatively thick phone. Um, but open, it's. It, f it feels thinner like than my iPhone. I, I don't think it feels any thicker than like a Droid 2 or something like that, though. Oh, I, th I think once it's closed, the curve here, it's you'll feel this in your pocket. Um, the screen is 4 inches. It's running 854 by 40. So again, very standard uh, Android uh, resolution. Um, you have 5 megapixel camera in the back, VGA camera in the front, and uh, like Will said, all the hardware buttons. So that's the Sony Xperia Play. For Tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys later.